the show. Yes, it's Terror Hawks time on this week's Saturday show when we talk to the man behind this mega program. And I meet live Terror Hawks agent Kate Kestrel, the singer of this. Okay, time now for some music from a very unusual artist. Before we meet her, take a listen to this. The song is called SOS and the artist is Kate Kestrel, who of course you'll recognise from her many appearances on that excellent TV programme, Terror Hawks. Brilliant. And I'm especially looking forward to hearing the whole of SOS and particularly meeting Kate Kestrel herself in the flesh. Right. But before then, a word or two about Kate Kestrel's background, because she really is a most unusual performer. Why are you so happy, Mother? Because I have perfected a new secret weapon which will bring the accursed terror hawks to their knees. Oh, excellent, Mother. What is this weapon? It is a personality transformer. Anyone who is struck by its energy beam will have their character reversed. So the terror hawks would become evil? Exactly, my son. But, Mother, how do we lure the terror hawks out of their stinking lair? Simple. The hideous Kate Kestrel is appearing on television today. All we have to do is fire the beam at the studio and begin reversing everyone there. The Terror Hawks will come running to the rescue and then we transform them. Set the coordinates for the Saturday show. Last picture, I see. Uh, I'm sorry, I understand you may be experiencing one or two technical problems at home. The word is to not adjust your set, uh, it's to do with our machines. We'll make sure that you get picture and sound as good as we can. Anyway, we're talking about Kate Kestrel, fantastic performer for a variety of reasons. The reversing weapon is ready, mother. Excellent. Aim for the human they call Isla. She seems very friendly. We'll soon change that. Fire! <laughs> well, apologies once again for any interference that you may be experiencing. Uh, I'll just remind you, in case you missed anything, that Isla is about to be talking to the amazing Kate Kestrel. And then after that, we're going to be meeting the man who's responsible for that fantastic television series, Terror Hawks, that's Joey Anderson. But first of all, Kate Kestrel. And Isla, I know you're just as excited about meeting her as I am. I couldn't care less. <sighs> boring. Dreadful. Kate Kestrel, boring. But you said you were one of her greatest fans just now. We, rubbish. We... Absolute rubbish. Big mouth, smarty pants. <sighs> well, perhaps, anyway, uh, if you go, you went over there to in interview <laughs> her in the script, over there and interview uh -uh. her now. Nope. Nope. Uh, well, let's, um, move on to uh, the next time. Well, yeah, uh, time to meet a man who's been responsible for some of the most spectacular children's programmes over the last uh, 20 years. And let's begin by seeing a bit of action from some of his most famous creations, Thunderbirds. Uh, here's the moment where three of the five international rescue craft are about to locate and then neutralise a dangerous enemy submarine. And Big as usual... Mouth. Watch out for the special effects on this. Mm. 
International Rescue from Thunderbird 1. I've got it. She's down there. Great work, Scott. Contact Virgil. There's only seven minutes to go. Thunderbird 2 from Thunderbird 1. Submarine located. FAB. Approaching danger zone. About to launch Thunderbird 4. Great. You made good time. Okay, Gordon. Take up your position. Sure thing, Virgil. Thunderbird 2 from Thunderbird 1. Submarine located at area 243, reference 19, chart 9. I'm afraid that's the best I can do. FAB, Scott. Gordon's sound scan will be able to pinpoint her. How much time have we? Five minutes. Naturally enough, Thunderbirds managed to sort that one out as well. Time now to meet the gentleman who's been masterminding programs like that since the days when your mums and dads were children themselves. I'm sure they recognise most of his programmes, so get them in now from wherever they are, because they're going to enjoy this as much as you are. Jerry Anderson, welcome to The Saturday Show. Thank you, Tommy. Absolutely smashing to have you here, it really is. I was saying earlier, you could practically uh, tell how old somebody is from the sort of Jerry Anderson programme that they remember best, you know, like... Because you, you go back a, a good way. I well, don't I, mean that's unkindly. I, I, no, I was going to say I go back so far that... Uh... I'm beginning to worry yeah. about how old people are that remember yeah. the shows. Well, what about your... You made some short children's puppet programmes, which some people remember, Torchy and Twizzle, but your first big programme was a cowboy thing. What was that called? Uh, it, it was really my first programme that I made entirely on my own, and it was called Four Feather Falls. It was called Four Feather Falls, and that really started an amazing ball rolling, didn't it? And in that... An interesting little aside for everyone at home is that you used people on the voices uh, who became much better known later on for other things. It had a talking horse and, and a sheriff, and who, who played those roles? Well, the interesting thing is that uh, the talking horse was uh, Ken Connor, right. who, who children will know from, carry from on. the Carry-Ons. Yes. Ho, ho! That's He's right. the one who always says, ho, ho! But, of course, the...